Corey, the, the linebacker room has kind of you know, gotten a couple of additions recently with Denzel Perryman and KJ Wright. Uh, obviously, you have some, some injuries with guys like Nick Moreau and Javon Whiteout. But how do you feel about that group overall and how you guys are coming into form with the game on this one? Um, it's football. Uh, these guys have been playing football for a long time. The great additions they have in our room, and honestly, they've made themselves comfortable where we feel comfortable with them at the same time, and we're all becoming buddies. So excited to have them here. Corey, as you've gone through training camp and prepare for Monday Night Football, right around the corner now. What, what's the biggest difference that you see in improvement, overall attitude, energy, whatever it may be, um, as you you know are less than a week away now? I would just say uh, how everybody's able to play faster, uh, less thought, less thinking about what your assignment is or how do you play a certain concept or formation, um, just a lot more just playing football and ultimately just having fun with it because you know what to do. We're kind of at the point where it's time to play football. We've been talking about it long enough, thinking about it long enough, long off season. Are you kind of at that point right now? Uh, most definitely. We're all excited to play football. That's what we do. Um, anytime we get a, uh, an opportunity to show what we can do, that's we're all for it. What kind of uh, challenges does Lamar Jackson present? Uh, dual threat quarterback. He can throw, he can run, he can do magic tricks, apparently. You guys had one exhibition game finally with fans in there. They just had uh, the uh, Arizona BYU 55,000 fans. Is there a different sort of feeling, though, knowing that – not only is it going to be possibly a sold-out crowd, but it's Monday night, it's the spotlight game, and you're opening the season in your stadium. Is there sort of a different vibe in the locker room? Uh, I don't think so. Any opportunity is an opportunity to play football, and we're all excited to do just that. Um, having fans back in the crowd is a big thing for us because, honestly, we play football to give a show, to show our best attributes, everything we can do. So it will be nice being able to do that in front of people. I know you've been in the league for a while now. You've played in a few different systems, but how much more comfortable do you feel just in Gus Bradley's system as an individual uh, than you were in your earlier on? Um, as you learn something through time, you eventually grow comfortable with it. You learn it. You not necessarily master it, but you um, it grows on you. And that's what's happened so far with me and Gus and this defense that's come in, and I feel comfortable. The Raiders made a lot of changes on the defensive line. Um, do you notice that? Can you feel uh, the difference in terms of that rotation and the talent level that's on that defensive line? Most definitely. We have dogs out there that's ready to hunt. Uh, they're ready for this game. They're excited for it. And I'm excited to see them hunt. What are your early impressions of KJ Wright? Just got him. Um, smart guy, veteran. You can already feel the leadership coming out of him. Um, just a good dude to have in your room. Corey, you have always been a high-producing player whose game was marked by a guy that had fun. Last year wasn't that. How excited are you to go back and get back to the Corey pre-2020? Uh, that's that's everything for me because at the end of the day, nobody wants to have a bad performance. That's, that's not why we play. Um, we just want to do our best. And um, when you're able to do things without necessarily thinking and just playing, it, you have fun. And... I'm excited to get back to that. You guys all set? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Corey. What's the kind of process of coming in and signing with the Raiders just kind of come together this offseason? Uh, well, I was cut uh, by Washington. Uh, and I guess I was on practice squad for about two days and uh, just sitting there one day after practice. And uh, my agent gave me a call and asked me uh, what I think about uh, uh, Las Vegas. You know, and uh, pretty much told him I'm, I'm happy to go. So. And I know it's been a short amount of time, but how's your sort of acclimation period come in and what kind of role have you taken on with the team just in your first couple of practices? Yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. Um, you know, I'm pretty much here to, uh, I guess, uh, be the backup uh, for uh, for Josh and uh, just be ready to go. Is it nice to see a couple of familiar faces with Jeremy McCoy and Carl Nassib in the locker room? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Those are my guys.
how, how, I mean, how much of the playbook and everything would you be able to, to be comfortable with and ready for by, by Monday? Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, you know, there's, I'm sure there'll be a couple of couple of things in there uh, for me. I'm a, I'm a pretty quick learner, so. I know uh, there's some humidity in Washington, but what was the uh, the conditions like for you outside today? Uh, being down at Tampa, I guess, really helped me out. Uh, being down there for four years, but uh, you know that that the dry heat is uh, it's it's, it's a little different. Uh, as far as when it comes to your skin and stuff like that, so. <laughs> For you, Peyton, can you talk about just a couple of days ago you're sitting on a practice squad and now you're getting ready to play on Monday Night Football to kick off the season? What a whirlwind a week can make. Would you talk about that? Week? Yeah, I mean it's, it's crazy. It's just uh, it's wild to see how fast things can change for you. Um, you know, just re- really being prepared and uh, being ready to go, um, not taking things for granted. What are the Raiders getting in you? Uh, every down and back. You know, I can block, I can run the ball, I can catch the ball. Um, you know, I'll play special teams. You know, anything you need me to do, I can do. So. Anything else, guys?